Okay, today I'm here, I'm standing here not as a student, but I'm standing here as a teacher. And right now I'm going to teach you very important thing, confidence. Maybe all of you think that you're confident enough to do very incredible things. But the truth is not, you are not confident enough. Why? Because you are sitting here and listening to us. So today, I'm going to say you one thing. I'm going to prove you that confidence is not so difficult as we imagine. To be honest, confidence is not something to be taught. It's something to be obtained. And I guess it will be correct if I say that I'm going to give you some clues about self-confidence. Okay, uh, have you, you, I, I'm sure all of you know what is self-confidence. It, it is an essential part of humanity, of our personality. What, but what can self-confidence give us? I mentioned that self-confidence is a very important thing. Especially if you are just a teenager, you should be confident enough to say what you really think. So I, I guess that people who are self-confident enough is more likely to achieve their personal and professional goals. But people who are less confident are less likely to achieve even their personal goals. Okay, as I mentioned, that confidence is not something that you can talk, but you burn with this thing. You should just improve it. And the good news is that you can do it. When I studied at school, it was three years ago, my teacher used to, used to tell me that there is no the world like can't. You always can do anything you really want. When I, I used to say always to my PI lesson teacher that I cannot do this exercise. The truth was that I really do not want to do that. But he always like said to me that if you really want to be someone who really wants to inspire others, you can do that, no matter what you want. The second thing is people who play with fire, it means with people who behave with self-assurance, are always being like people who studied bad at school. I was told uh, from my classmate that I will work on him because I am very clever, but not confident. But he will be very rich person. Why? Because he is confident and no matter he is very bad at studying. The truth is that it's very big paradox that clever people are not famous or not rich. Why? Because they are not confident enough in their intelligence, in their sensible. They are sure that they have some kind of thing like confusing. They are always confusing. And it ruins their life. Why? Because people who studied at school very bad, I'm very happy for you guys. Really happy for you if you studied very bad at school. No matter what you studied at school, no matter what you did when the school was gone, the thing is that if you're confident enough, you can do anything you really want. The third thing is that people who are very optimistic are less likely to achieve more than pessimistic ones. Because, because they just forget about such kind of things like, I cannot do that. They always say, oh, I can do that. It's a piece of cake for me. Why? Because they just forgot about things like, like what if. When I was a child, I used to say like, what if, what if. And my parents really hated it because I just ruined my life with this thing. I didn't do many kind of things just because of this. I was very afraid to be in the public. I was very afraid to say my teacher, I don't want it. Because I was guessing like, what if she said no? What if uh, just I am died right now? So this thing ruined my childhood. So I want you to forget about such kind of things. And the most important that I heard this many times, everyone said to me like, I believe in you, but where's the purpose if you believe me, if I don't believe in myself? No matter how many people believe in you, but if you don't believe in yourself, it means nothing, you know? 
If you really believe in yourself, you don't need others believe in our others trust in you. Because you really want to achieve something bigger than other things that you can. I heard that from many people, like, I read that book and this book inspired me and I am self-confident. But the truth is that you cannot earn self-confidence by reading thousands of books about it. The only thing that you can do is just try, because right now it's your time. I, I guess you all satisfied with other stories about how they became very popular. You like reading and saying, oh my god, he's very popular, I must be with him, I must be like him. But you do nothing for it. You do nothing for being as rich, as popular as him. Why? Because you're just lazy, you're just afraid of doing it. By saying that, I mean that you shouldn't be satisfied with the stories of others. You should unfold your own one. If you really want to be someone who really, who really motivated others, you should do it right now, not tomorrow, not uh, next month. What, what unites all TED speakers? The only thing that combines all of us is that we are confident enough to be in front of <laughs> in front of more than 50 people. And the only thing that we are wanting to say to you is that believe in yourself. Every TED speaker, speakers already mentioned it. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams. If you don't believe in it, where is, where is the, uh, where's the purpose of your ideas? I know it's difficult to be confident, especially when you're sitting in an exam and you didn't even prepare it for it. But difficult it doesn't mean that it's impossible. Everything is impossible when you really want it. When you really want to achieve... Okay, just imagine, you want uh, chocolate. You don't say, oh, I can't buy it. You always say, oh, it's a piece of cake for me. Just imagine that your ideas, that your motivation, that challenges and difficulties like a chocolate. You can do that, you can eat it. So, right now, I am going to ask you what, what unites all of us. We are united by the idea of being success. But success means taking risk. And taking risk means what? Of course, confidence. No matter how great you have an idea, no matter how clever you are, if you are not confident enough, it means you just no one. Everyone forgets about you if you're not confident enough. Believe that you can. Why? Because believing can bring to you very big things. So I was very crazy about Coco Chanel when I was young. Okay, I'm still crazy about her. And I really like your quote like, a success person, a confident person, is never fake, is never can be not known. Why? Because he is known that not always, uh, he can be not always. It means like you, there is no guarantee that you can do. There is no guarantee that you can do it for the first time, for the second or even for the first time. But nobody says you to stop it. You should just try to do it for the rest of your life if you really want something to achieve. If you really want to be here in front instead of me, I'll be very happy because I feel very confused. <laughs> so, and I am confused just because it's too cold inside. Yes, yeah, too cold. So, I want you to play with fire. Why? Because it's the only thing that can bring to you happiness. As Najima said, happiness is just a process. So, process is not such kind of difficult thing. Just forget about all difficulties and challenges. Challenge yourself as our Madina did. Always be happy and motivated by others. Motivated others, from, make them sure that you can do that, that it's pretty difficult to let you down. Every time when you just wake up, think about it. Think about what can make you confident. Forget about the words like, I cannot do that, I cannot do that, I'm afraid of it, of it. and even what if. I was what if person recently, but I forgot about it. So, 
if you really want to be confident, the only my, I don't know, my clue is that you must be very believer. I mean, you should believe in yourself, not to believe in others, but believe in yourself. Why? Because others can just pretend like they are believing you. But the truth is, if you don't believe in yourself, no one can help you. That's all. Thank you.